All right, let's consider the function f of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus kx minus 4. The remainder from f of x divided by x plus 2 is twice the remainder from f of x divided by x minus 2. Determine the value of k. So this is an application of the remainder theorem. Let's take a look at f of x divided by x plus 2. Well, we know that the remainder of this can be written as f of negative 2 should be the remainder, right? So there's going to be a quotient and a remainder. So I, I think I should... Um, you should get a quotient plus a remainder, and we can figure out the remainder by using the remainder theorem of f of negative 2, right? And the other case, f of x over x minus 2 will give us some kind of quotient plus a remainder, and you can figure out the remainder by doing f of 2. Okay, so we'll call this remainder 1, we'll call this remainder 2, this is quotient um, of 1, and then this is quotient of 2. Okay, so we just want to differentiate between the two, right? It tells us that the remainder from f of x divided by x plus 2 is twice the remainder from f of x divided by x minus 2. So the way you can write this is um, f of negative 2, the remainder from this is twice that of um, f of 2, okay? Now what we want to do next, so now that we understand the statement, Right? What we want to do next is plug it into our equation. So let's figure out what f of negative 2 is. So if I plug this in, you get negative 2, and you're plugging this into your function f of x. Okay, so you get negative 2 plus 4 times negative 2 squared plus k times negative 2 minus 4. And this gives you negative 8 plus 4 times 4 minus 2k minus 4, right? So this gives us negative 8 plus 16 minus 2k minus 4, so this is f of negative 2. So f of negative 2 here is basically 8 minus 4, so it's 4 minus 2k. Okay, so that's f of negative 2. Let's take a look at f of 2 here. Okay, so f of 2 here is basically 2 cubed, right? Because remember that f of x is x cubed plus 4x squared plus kx minus 4. So f of 2 here is 2 cubed plus 4 times 2 squared plus k times 2 minus 4, which is 8 plus 16 plus 2k minus 4. So it's like 24 minus 4 is 20. So you get 20 plus 2k, so that's f of 2. Okay, And we know that f of negative 2, I'm just going to change colors here. We know that f of negative 2 is equal to 2 times f of 2, because once again, the remainder from f of x divided by x plus 2 is twice the remainder of f of x divided by x minus 2, right? So in this case, um, f of negative 2 here is 4 minus 2k, and this is equal to 2 times, and we found that f of 2 here was 20 plus 2k. So 4 minus 2k is equal to 40 plus 4k, I move the negative 2 here and move the 40 here. You get 4k plus 2k is equal to 4 minus 40. 6k is equal to negative 36. k is equal to negative 6. Okay, so k actually gave us negative 6, right? So that is the solution. So your function actually looks like f of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus, um, whoops, negative minus 6 x minus 4. Okay, so k is negative 6. So that's how you can use the remainder theorem.